Since it's a bit time consuming to work around with the 3D objects in Element 3D, uh, the AE script community has created a plugin for it. So you can actually uh, donate how, uh, however, uh, how much you want or even download this uh, plugin free of cost. So once you install it, you'll have access to the Element 3 plugin right here. So I can go into Windows and here you can see that the Element 3 plugin is here. So I'm going to go over here and this is my Element 3 plugin. So there are some cool effects that you can play with. For example, there are some effects like Dragon or effects like Cartoon. If I would press on this, you can immediately see that uh, this will turn into something like a cartoony look right there. So it, it is a cool effect right there. So it comes up with the cartoon effect right there. And if I were to work around with my 3D model right here, so I'm going to go on to my particle look, increase the size, maybe like it does take a bit of a processing time right there because it is going through all of these effects. You can move around as well. So I'm going to go around into uh, um, something like particle replicator, gonna go into rotation, rotate it around. All right, so, and everything is uh, process out there and lo it looks like a tune but anyways uh, you can you notice that uh, it is quite hard to actually go in and then work around with everything at once so let me just go back into uh, the default option right here and I'm going to decrease the particle size back to 10 just like this all right so now what I'm going to do is create an easy controller in the previous lesson we created a null object and linked now linked uh, it to this object right here, but elementary does that quite easily for us. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to go into the orange solid layer right here. And over here in elementary, I'm just going to simply press anchor. Once I press that, you can see that I can select the group. So since my object is in group one, I'm simply going to select group one. I don't have to worry about any other settings and I'm going to press OK. And once you do that, you can see that the now object actually appears. So there are some bunch of uh, settings here. It's all parented for you. So what you simply uh, can do now is go in uh, to the now object right here. This is the now object. You can expand this out and go into the transform menu. So now you can work around with the anchor point right here, the anchor point of the uh, model as you can see right here let me just go back to zero because i don't want to change the anchor point you can see the position left and right you can see you can animate the null object you can scale this out scale it or unlink it and scale it in one side quite easily just like a regular uh, after effect shape you can work around with the orientation right here as you can see as i move the null object it rotates the 3d object as well i can just rotate it around like that change with the opacity and so forth all of them is linked with the now object now so you can simply add in keyframe to position move the uh move the position right here and there you go there's a simple 3d animation so you don't need to work around with these complex settings go and uh, expand all the settings right there you can simply attach everything to now and you can animate quite easily so that is how you can use anchor uh, tool in elementary plugin inside of after effects to control element 3d objects hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe